An update from our correspondent, political correspondent who is in Anambra State, um, Ayo Deli Uzubako. He's live for us there to bring us updates. Um, Ayo, talk to us about preparations by INEC towards this election. INEC said it is fully pre prepared for this election. Is that the sense that you're getting from residents? 2021. I want to assure all voters in Anambra State that in designing the sensitive materials for the election, the Commission introduced additional and invisible, visible and invisible security features, including different color codes. The materials have also been customized by local government areas and for some categories of the materials, Professor Mahmoud, the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, actually addressing the final stakeholders meeting in the Dora Kunili, at the Dora Kunili Women Development Center here in Oka. And out of the 14 items that the Independent National Electoral Commission highlighted to fulfill during this election, is announcing that they've completed 12 so far. So it remains the end of the campaign and the election so far. We have different stakeholders here. The Inspector General of Police that um, Mr. Akali Baba Ahmed is, is here himself and candidate of all the 18 political parties that are going to participate in on Saturday's election. They are also here. Civil society organization, representative of INEC across the country, those who are going to participate in Saturday's election, they are all here. And the members of the National um, Peace Committee, that uh, Reverend, Matthew, Reverend Matthew Hassan Kuka is also here because tomorrow there's going to be a, a signing of Peace Pact between the candidates across the 18 political parties that will participate in today's election. So Matthew Hassan Kuka is going to lead that charge tomorrow and they are going to be signing the Peace Pact. So I will just take you over to the podium now as the chairman of INEC is still addressing the stakeholders on how far the commission have gone in preparing for Saturday's election. With this development, the use of the incident form is abolished. No voter without a genuine PVC will vote. No voter. No voter who has not been successfully accredited electronically using the PFAS will be allowed to vote. And we are very happy with the outcome of the pilot in Isoko. We took the statistics for Isoko State constituency, Isoko 1 in Delta, in 2019. The percentage of successful accreditation using the smart card reader was 32.8%. But in September this year, when we conducted a by-election in the same constituency using the BVAS, the rate of successful accreditation jumped to 97.4%. So the BVAS will be deployed for the election on Saturday. The stakeholders meeting actually started a little bit behind schedule because the stakeholders, the, of the Independent National Electoral Commission, the were waiting for yeah. the yeah. candidates of the political parties. Not quite long now, we had Professor Charles Sodudo, the candidate of the uh, All Progressive Ground Alliance, and the candidate of the People's Democratic Party actually walked into the podium and this auditorium, and they had to kickstart the event with or without the 18 candidates seated. But I think after the start of the event, they are coming in in droves. And as you can see from the podium, we have the National Peace Committee to the, represented by Reverend Father Matthew Asan Kuka here at the Dora Akunili Women Development Center in Oka. Over to you, Lagos. I, I did mention that um, there were supposed to be 18 political parties in that meeting, but some of them did not sh have not showed up yet or are refusing to show up. So INEC decided to kickstart that meeting. Now, one of those parties is Boot Party, and they have said they are not going to nominate um, polling agents for uh, in, the coming, in the forthcoming election on Saturday. Now, to discuss this with me is the chairman of the Boot Party, Sonny Adenuga. Good to have you join us. For having me... Uh Thank you. 
So you released, uh, your party re released a statement, that's the boot party, saying that it will not, um, it has taken a decision not to nominate polling agents in the forthcoming um, governorship ele election in Anambra State. Uh, talk to us about that and, and why you have decided to make that decision. Yeah, th th thanks so much again. Um, yes, it is a very, very difficult decision for us to make. But this needs to be said first and foremost for every Nigerian to know. INEC, by the Constitution of Federal Republic, by the Electoral Act, is ultimately and only responsible to conduct free and fair election for any part of the country, especially when you talk about federal constituency, federal related elections, except elections conducted by uh, state uh, independent electoral commission. Now, that said, if you look at the Constitution that we currently have today, when we started in 2000, I mean, in 1999, and the Electoral Act 2010 as amended, the understanding at that moment is that political parties will always be funded. Now, at a time, that right, that privilege was taken out. But the content of the entire Constitution and Electoral Act was not really amended. Now, specifically, Section 45, of the electoral acts give some privileges to political parties to appoint agents and if i ask you when you look at what the agent does they are actually just supporting INEC in doing their job and i must tell you this INEC spends they, they they get a lot of money from the coffers of the federal republic of nigeria to conduct election and the question is this why should a political party like us who is membership driven that we don't have the, the amount of resources that other money bags who have run in government have to now continue to support the, the, the service of INEC, what the responsibility of INEC, then we decided that we will not be able to do it. It's about cost, but not only that, not only that. In the last months, this election has been particularly challenging for INEC and for all of us. In the last month, I'm going to tell you this. INEC had at least three consultative meetings with leadership of political parties across the country. Now, they've been able to demonstrate to us to some degree that the election will be free and fair. Now, the question is this, uh, at, and I, I'm very sure you are most likely aware that the, the issue about electronic transmission of results. Now, we've as, assessed it that INEC is going to be able to carry out the, the, the transmission of results. And at the end of the day, we concluded that, okay, we can, we, we still trust that INEC is going to do their bid. This is an opportunity for INEC. Yes, it's on their record. We are the only party that did not nominate any one of the agent, polling agents to, to represent us. But INEC should take this as a challenge and also as an opportunity to demonstrate to Nigeria that you can have free and fair elections without having to put people in the polling unit doing the job of INEC. It is the responsibility of INEC to conduct elections, and we are confident with what they've shown to us, but now let them demonstrate. And that is why we have not been able to put agents in, in, in this polling unit. And if I must add this... Um, I, I'm sorry, I do have to go to commercial. Um, I, I have to go to commercial now, but thank you so much for talking to us, Chairman of the Boot Party, Sonny Adenuga. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you.